Tonight's You and Your Money is brought to you by the Ministry of Tourism, the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, Henry F. Store Electric, the Ministry of Finance, the Builders Mall, Sun Oil Limited, JBR Building Supplies, and the Elutra Business Outlook. Hello everyone and welcome to You and Your Money. I'm Rogan Smith filling in for Jeffrey Lloyd. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, better known as BTVI. Joining us tonight for this half hour conversation are BTVI manager and consultant Dr. Ivor Dow and Samara Sands, registrar. Welcome to the show ladies. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. So let's just start off with a little bit of history, Dr. Dahl. Uh, how did BTVI get its start and what role does it play in the educational sphere in this country? Well, BTVI got its start a long time ago. Um, I don't know if your parents may have told you about CR Technical um, Walker School. Unfortunately, okay. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it originally started, the first technical school was in 1949. But the present BTVI um, name came about in 1985, but in 1980 we were ITC, and that happened after COB merged with the C.R. Walker Technical School. Mm -hmm. So then they formed um, ITC back in 1980, right. and then the name was changed to Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute. How we fit in, we're the premier institution for technical and vocational in um, education in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And who are typically your students? Do we find a lot of non-traditional students on your campus or are they mostly college age? Give us a no, we find we have a mix. Um, you would find that we have school leavers, we have non-completers, and then we have persons who come back to upgrade their skills mm -hmm. and persons looking for a second career. Absolutely. And what kind of impact have you had over the years? Well, our impact I think has been great. We've upgraded considerably in the past eight years um, to the point where we have articulation agreement with um, international schools mm -hmm. so our students can matriculate to further their education. Mm -hmm. So we've had an impact. Okay, so Mara, let's get you in the conversation. Uh, where are your facilities located? How big is the campus, if you know offhand? We're located on Old Trail Road. We actually have two campuses. We have the main campus on Old Trail Road, and we have a satellite campus in Grand Bahama on Settlers Way, Peach Street. Mm -hmm. um, the campus hosts boasts about um, 26 laboratories and workshops, 17 classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, we have a student capacity of up to 1,700 students. Oh, that's pretty big, actually. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we could hold that many students. Well, this um, spring we had nine, between both campuses, mm -hmm. we had 1,900. Yes. 1,900 students, mm -hmm. okay. Any plans to expand into other family islands, or are you gonna keep it to New Providence and Grand Bahama, the satellite? We, we conduct classes, special interest classes in the family islands now, as for campus, no. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the types of courses and classes that you offer at BTVI. Well, we have a wide variety of uh, Associate of Applied Science degree programs. We have about six right now. Uh, we offer them in Business Office Technology, Office Administration. We also have Information Technology Management, and you can also do that in server, Security and Server Component. We have Construction Technology, Electronics Engineering, and Installer Repair. So we have quite a few Associate's degree programs. We have a wide range of certificate programs in the construction field. You can do plumbing, mm -hmm. electrical, uh, carpentry. If you're interested in beauty, you can do the cosmetology program. That's actually a diploma program. You can do uh, aesthetics. You can do barbering. You can do natural hairstyling. You can do the nails. Right. That's popular for the girls. We also have auto mechanics, auto collision. We have fashion design one. That's our certificate program. And fashion design two is the diploma program. So we have quite a, quite a, a wide range of classes for students. We also offer short, what we call 10 to 12 week courses, professional mm -hmm. development courses Good. for persons who don't really want to, you know, spend all that time pursuing a degree. They're just looking for something to do, you know, quickly pick up a trade, learn a new skill. And we offer those in accounting, QuickBooks, uh, you can do uh, the um, introduction to computers for those persons who are not so computer savvy. You can do block laying, tile laying, blueprint reading. You can do sewing. So we, we cater to everybody. Absolutely. In terms of our programs that we offer on site, 
we have professional advisory committees of industry um, subject matter experts that come in and meet with us regularly and will review our curriculum and let us know whether or not we're training for the workforce. And what's your cost compared to the same uh, programs being offered overseas? Well, I'll give you an example. Our massage um, program is something like 20. Between, it's about 31. 3100 30 And they can pay 17000 for that in Miami. Seventeen thousand dollars. Yes, yes because um, <laughs> <laughs> you took my breath away with that one. No, it's, it's it's true. You can get an associate uh, an applied associate degree at BTVI two years for eight thousand dollars. You know you can't get room and board for that if you That's go right. go abroad. So you know it's an opportunity for a lot of people to get their start here uh, to be sure that that is the area they want to study because you know a lot of uh, students go off and they find out that's not really what they want mm -hmm. and then too if they're young sometimes parents don't want them going off at 17 18 they mm -hmm. prefer f and then they can do an associate degree they can always matriculate and do something different but at least they would have that first associate degree with us absolutely now I understand that BTVI is semi-autonomous uh, do you have a new board yes um, we have a new board the minister announced the board um, recently Yes. Uh, it's chaired by Felix Stubbs. Felix Stubbs. Okay. Yes. And so how are you funded? Is it from mostly government Government um, is our main funding source. With the new board, um, there is provision for us to be able to raise our own funds. Okay. And how do you plan to go about doing that, raising funds? Tuition for and endowment. So we could see... They'll be begging mm -hmm. <laughs> corporate Bahamas <laughs> to help us, mm -hmm. you know, but... Um, Will we see tuition increasing in the near future? If there is, if they approve a tuition increase, it would be minimal because of the population we serve, uh, usually on the um, lower economic end. Um, persons come to us from the public school system, so they may not necessarily be able to pay the higher school fees. Okay. But right now we offer our associate program at $50 per credit. That's very reasonable. That's very reasonable, yes. Yeah. So I want to ask you a question. Uh, you know, there's a perception that individuals who attend BTVI couldn't or can't cut the mustard, so to speak, at traditional universities and colleges, and that's why they turn to BTVI. No, is that, that is one why we have upgraded our programs over the past um, eight years. Um, the government had signed a loan with the IDB for a program to restructure and reorganize BTVI mm -hmm. and it has been done. So now we can offer associate, applied associate degrees. Um, our certificate courses, we have articulation agreement with those one-year programs. They can go off and do an associate in an area that we don't offer an associate in. We have articulations for our two-year associate degree programs. Now with um, New England School of Technology in mm -hmm. Rhode Island, mm -hmm. they can go and do a bachelor's. So, uh, you know, we have upgraded, and that's an old stigma mm -hmm. that we're trying to get away from at BTVI. Okay, absolutely. Now, you're watching You and Your Money. We're chatting with BTVI manager and consultant Dr. Iva Dow and Samara Sands, registrar. We'll be right back after this break. What would VAT mean for me, a consumer? If you shop in the United States or other countries abroad, you would have to pay the VAT when you declare your purchases at customs, just as you do now for customs duties. All local businesses that charge VAT would display registration certificates issued by the Central Revenue Administration. Some very small businesses would not have to be registered and they would not be allowed to charge you VAT. For more information, call 225-7280 or visit whatsvat.com. At Henry F. Store Electric Company, we supply all your electric needs for any size project, from residential housing to luxury hotels. We can help you achieve just the right look, from doorbells to chandeliers, table lamps to ceiling fans, wire, conduit, panels, dimmers, switches, plugs, and even tools. And don't forget light bulbs. We have those hard-to-find, energy-saving fluorescent bulbs and more. Henry F. Store Electric, number 135 Matthew Street. Over 50 years of reliability, service, and low, low prices. We also ship to the family islands. Nothing beats having a safe, reliable car that's practical for everyday living. Cars like the Camry and Land Cruiser set you apart from the moment you drive them off our lot. For years, Executive has endorsed Shell's high-quality fuels. All vehicles are known for their durability and practicality. 
We're about moving forward, and we choose Shell to do what we do best, to get you there safely. It's time. Learn from real experts. Learn with confidence. Learn your way. Earn a certificate that opens doors. Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute. What are you waiting for? Reliable, the definition, able to be trusted, predictable, or dependable. JBR Building Supplies has been your reliable, all Bahamian trusted source for quality building materials, power tools, paint, nuts, bolts, and tiles for over 55 years and continues to be your best choice when building or renovating your home or commercial project. Don't take chances. Go with who you know. JBR Building Supplies on Wolf Road. Trusted, predictable, and dependable. Telephone 393-0512 or 393-8006. There's only one place to find it all, and it's right here at the Builders Mall, where our friendly staff will provide you with everything your project needs. From electrical supplies to lighting design. An array of bathroom and plumbing fixtures. Tools, lumber, shingles, and roofing materials. Everything for the contractor. Or the do it yourself -er. For the perfect finishing touch, it's the Paint Center. For a rainbow worth of colors, try Bath Bar Premium Paint. Along with Minmax Things to help you finish your job. Come, stop by next door at Tower King. And browse an exquisite selection of tiles from around the world. Plus, granite countertops and medallions. Setting materials on a full line of ruby tools for the wall, floor, patio, or pool. Our standard is superior customer service. And we are guaranteed to provide you with everything you need and more. So don't waste time running from place to place. Find it all at Builders Mall. Welcome back to You and Your Money. I'm Rogan Smith. We're having an interesting conversation with BTVI manager and consultant Dr. Iva Dal and BTVI registrar Samara Sands. Welcome back. So can you design and provide special courses on request, Dr. Dal? Yes, we do customized training. Um, persons will contact us if they need to have their staff trained. They will tell us what they want and we will customize the training for them. Do you have a lot of that happening? No. Is that something you'd like to see increase? Well, yes, I would really like to see that because that's a genera uh, revenue generating. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and so do you offer courses off-site, for example, at a client's premises? Let's just say I don't want to come in on campus. Sure, we do that. We have done it in the past. Is there an additional cost associated there with that? There is just a cost, not an additional cost. Mm -hmm. We'll cost it out based on what it is the client is asking us to do. Okay, and so what new developments do you ladies see coming down the pipeline? I think we're going to do some upgrading to our curriculum. We're going to sit down and review that and maybe offer some new programs eventually. Um, are, are, are some students asking for particular programs? We get a lot of requests daily for um, programs, but you know we have to take all of those into consideration and review. Um, we have to make sure that we have the proper facilities mm -hmm. to provide those courses. Is there any in particular that you can share with us? Um, off the top of my head, um, nursing, I get, I get when we go to schools, because we do our recruitment drives, we go into different high schools, we go into businesses, mm -hmm. and I notice a lot of students ask about nursing, if we have allied health, yeah, allied mm -hmm. health, if we have for those type um, courses, and so, you know, we have to make sure that when we do things, we do things properly, right. and make sure that we have the proper facilities and equipment to mm -hmm. teach those type courses. And how often do you do your recruitment exercises? Oh, we do it yearly. We have a recruitment, uh, recruitment officer. She's Miss Kayla Hall, and she's been doing a phenomenal job. She goes down to the different high schools, public and private. She goes to the businesses. Um, she goes to the family island. And she speaks on behalf of BTVI, our program offerings. Um, she counsels the students. You know, she, she puts the word out there about BTVI, the hidden gem. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, can we see BTVI offer online courses in the future? We do have a platform 
but it's difficult when it comes to technical subject subjects to offer them online. Mm -hmm. So while we may be able to offer theory, the practical itself, it would be difficult. Mm -hmm. And what sort of feedback do you get from your students about your programs? I would imagine that that plays a pivotal role in you shaping uh, the way forward. So what are they saying? Well, a lot of them do well, especially those that go off mm -hmm. um, to further their education. They do extremely well. Um, those that go out in the market and get jobs, We've had good feedback. Um, we have a job placement um, department for our students as well through that, student that. services. Um, they can um, put their resume in, and we have um, persons calling us and asking us for students. And what we will do is send a group and let them choose um, which student they would like to hire. All of our certificate programs, our one-year certificate programs, have an internship component. Mm -hmm. And so they go out at, when they complete the studies and they do an intern in the field of study. And those that do well get hired mm -hmm. permanently. And once the students have graduated, do you find a lot of them coming back and doing other classes and courses? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> definitely. So uh, a lot of them enjoy the program so much that they want to further enhance their skills. Um, we had a student, he started off doing electrical. He moved on to carpentry and plumbing. Mm -hmm. And now he actually wants to do the Associate of Applied Science degree mm -hmm. in construction technology. Mm -hmm. So um, they're excited about the programs. They love the instructors. They love the, the teaching time, the, the hands-on work. Um, they like going out into the field. So yes, we do have a lot of students coming back. Wonderful. And do you have job fairs? I know that you talked about the office that you've got, but do you, do you yes, have job fairs? Yes, right um, graduation, we invite vendors in. Mm -hmm. um, to come in and recruit. Okay. Now I know that you, this is a little off topic, but you recently had a wellness fair. What was that all about and why did you decide to have it at that time? I think it was in February. Um, we just wanted to bring awareness to the students about, you know, your health, safety, um, taking care of the body, mind, and spirit. You know, the students come to classes on our campus every day and we saw the need just to further to educate them about taking care of self, taking care of image, taking care of your body, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that was the purpose of the fair. So we invited vendors from the different um, natural um, health shops, uh, mm -hmm. vitamin stores, we had some exercise, some um, what do you call them? Where well, you go to do ex exercise? For the gyms. The gyms. Yes. They were there they doing demonstrations. Well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, they were. Uh, we had uh, Avon. They came out and they supported <laughs> us. The Avon, the, the yeah. cosmetics. Yes. Yeah, we oh. had a representative from Avon. Lowe's. Came down. Lowe's, uh, Commonwealth Drugs. Uh, we had a lot of vendors come down. You know, just to encourage the student to to talk about wellness and being healthy and healthy practices. Absolutely. We we make it a, a practice of preparing the student holistically. We'll have the banks come in. We also have a speaker series where persons will come in and relate to the students their journey to how they got to where they are. Mm -hmm. And that happens every um, semester. Yeah. We bring speakers in. Our most recent speaker was Janet Bostwick on oh, that's a great speaker. Women in, in <laughs> Parliament, the first woman in mm -hmm. Parliament, Women in the History of the Bahamas. So we do things like that as well for our students. Is there, are there any other events planned for this year that you're going to have on campus? Well, we have a coordinator of student affairs, Ms. Raquel Bathel, and she usually sends out a calendar monthly of the different events that she has on campus. But we're gearing up now. We're winding down, let me say. This is the last week of classes for the spring semester, and next week is final exams. And during this period, we want the students to remain focused on what's important, you know, mm -hmm. learning their education and passing those exams, because we're gearing up for graduation. And so some of the students now, they're taking their final courses, and we don't want to distract away from that. Absolutely. And graduation is a big time. We have grad night yes. where we invite vendors in. We give awards on grad night and we have a reception for our students before the actual graduation. That's really interesting. I think this graduation, we're having the most students. We have about 300 graduation applicants this semester. But this semester yes. alone? This That's semester. a lot of students That's graduating from BCBI. Students. <laughs> And we're very proud of that. Absolutely. And we're having an interesting conversation with BTBI manager and consultant, Dr. Dai Vidal and Samara Sands Registrar. You're watching You and Your Money. We'll be right back after this break. It's time. Learn from real experts. 
Learn with confidence. Learn your way. Earn a certificate that opens doors. Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute. What are you waiting for? When you think of Andros, think of nature at its best. When you think of Andros, think of colorful places. When you think of Andros, think of beautiful people taking care of each other and our guests. Think Andros. Think bone fishing. Think Andros. Think diving. Reliable, the definition, able to be trusted, predictable, or dependable. JBR Building Supplies has been your reliable, all Bahamian trusted source for quality building materials, power tools, paint, nuts, bolts, and tiles for over 55 years and continues to be your best choice when building or renovating your home or commercial project. Don't take chances. Go with who you know. JBR Building Supplies on Wolf Road. Trusted, predictable, and dependable. Telephone 393-0512 or 393-8006. At Henry F. Store Electric Company, we supply all your electric needs for any size project, from residential housing to luxury hotels. We can help you achieve just the right look, from doorbells to chandeliers, table lamps to ceiling fans, wire, conduit, panels, dimmers, switches, plugs, and even tools. And don't forget light bulbs. We have those hard-to-find, energy-saving fluorescent bulbs and more. Henry F. Store Electric, number 135 Matthew Street. Over 50 years of reliability, service, and low, low prices. We also ship to the family islands. It doesn't matter if you're selling one pack or 100. If you're selling barcode, cigarettes, cigars, or any tobacco product, and they don't have the Bahamas excise tobacco stamp on their cartons, you're breaking the law and will be prosecuted. We gave you enough time to make things right, and now that time is up. So don't get caught stocking these tobacco products on your shelves. You may face prosecution and even confiscation of your tobacco products. Don't say you weren't warned. For more information on the excise tax on tobacco products, contact the Ministry of Finance at 702-1500. There's only one place to find it all, and it's right here at the Builders Mall, where our friendly staff will provide you with everything your project needs. From electrical supplies to lighting designs. An array of bathroom and plumbing fixtures. Tools, lumber, shingles, and roofing materials. Everything for the contractor. Or the do-it-yourselfer. For the perfect finishing touch, it's the Paint Center. For a rainbow worth of colors, try Bow Spa Premium Paint. Along with Minmax Things to help you finish your job. Come, stop by next door at Tile King. And browse an exquisite selection of tiles from around the world. Plus, granite countertops and medallions. Setting materials on a full line of ruby tools for the wall, floor, patio, or pool. Our standard is superior customer service. And we are guaranteed to provide you with everything you need and more. So don't waste time running from place to place. Find it all at Builders Mall. I'm Dr. Sonia Marshall, and after 30 years, I'm still a happy and contented Shell customer. So I'm still the original golden girl, and Shell still sets the golden standard. It just doesn't get any better than this. I'm a busy professional, and for me, time is money, so I don't take any chances with my vehicle. Thanks to the fine gasoline and car products available at Shell, I'm sure that I will get where I need to go on time. Welcome back to You and Your Money. We're having an interesting conversation with BTVI manager and consultant, Dr. Iva Dell and Samara Sands, registrar at BTVI. So tell us a little bit about registration for summer. How's that going, Samara? Summer, we don't have, we shouldn't have a, a long line. Um, we have online registration going on that started March 31st. That's for the current students. Um, they can log into the web portal and register for their classes. 
Now, for those students who don't want to do online registration, we can, we, we're doing the walk-in registration, which is on April 24th and 25th. That's for current and new students. Mm -hmm. uh, you come in. We have a registration staff that advise you on the courses that you need to take. We have a program of study that all students must follow. Mm -hmm. And so the staff advises the students and registers them for their classes. Okay. Registration this summer will, well, classes this summer will be for about seven weeks. Summer semester is usually shorter than all the other semesters. Mm -hmm. And classes begin April 28th, and they will run straight through to June 12th. Is the online registration a new thing for you guys? No, we've been doing that for quite some time. Okay, but you still have some students who want to come in. Yeah, we still have some students who want to come in. You know, they're not quite sure or um, they like to be counseled properly, mm -hmm. led down the right track. And so um, they come in and they prefer to do the, the walk-in registration. Absolutely. And the, for the professional development courses, is that happening over the summer as well? That is happening over the summer as well. We have professional development courses, or what we call them PDCs, every semester. Uh, for the summer, they too will be condensed into about seven to ten weeks. And so registration for them actually began March 24th, mm -hmm. and uh, they will run straight through to May 2nd. Uh, PDC courses, this very simple process. You simply come in, fill out the professional development application, bring your passport, a proof of citizenship, mm -hmm. a national insurance card, fill in the application, and you're registered for classes. And for the regular courses, if the students don't have all the money at that point in time, can they still? Yes, we have accounts department. And for those students who may not have all the funds readily available at the time of registration, we encourage them to go into accounts and arrange a payment plan so that oh, they can plans. yeah so that they can um, set up a payment plan and they can come back at a later date at times you know the terms set in the payment plan and, and pay for their courses we okay. prefer that they pay 50 percent down mm -hmm. and the remainder before the midterm but with the summer session being so short, short. Mm -hmm. that would be difficult sure. yeah. and um, with our PDCs we are offering the solar program. That's always interesting. Yes, yes. Um, and that's 27, 27 weeks, week program. weekends. We're doing it on the weekends mm -hmm. for those persons who are already out there in the industry right. who would like to learn about solar. Mm -hmm. The difference with our solar program is we give you the foundation. You have to know the plumbing if you're going to do mm. um, install solar hot water heater. You have to know about roofing if you're going to put the panels mm -hmm. on the roof. Makes so sense. that's where our solar program would differ from the quick fix mm -hmm. uh, because we want you to learn the proper way of doing it and it's a solar maintenance program that we are offering that is very new. And that's something you came out on your own or students had been asking for No, that. we did solar a few years ago as a full-time program. Uh, we found that a lot of the persons who were interested were working and could not come to us five days a week. Mm -hmm. So it was redesigned for weekends. Okay. What other great things does uh, BTVI offer? You know, I hear that it's the hidden gem of the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> it is because we offer these um, six Associate of Applied Science degrees. We have about 13 one-year certificate courses. Mm -hmm. You would find a lot of people say, well, they have upgraded and we can't get in anymore because we require you to be, to have your BJC in math and English for the certificate courses. Mm -hmm. You need BGCSE for the associate programs. Um, but if you don't have your BJCs, you can come and be assessed. And we have foundation courses to build so that you can get to the level in order to do the certificate programs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And take us through the admission process, because I'm sure people who are watching this are saying, okay, how do I get in? Okay, definitely. You just simply come down to the Office of Admissions and Registration. You get an application. You're required to bring in proof of citizenship. We require a uh, national insurance card, police record. Every student must do a medical. We need to have that background in case of emergencies. Sure. Uh, you submit the application with a $15 application processing fee. Can't that's beat that. That's very <laughs> inexpensive. Can't beat that. We process mm -hmm. the application. And as Dr. Dow would have indicated, for the associate's degrees, you, we, you're required to have the BGCSEs. And for the certificate, you're required to have the BJCs. But for s those uh, high school students or non-completers who didn't quite make the mark, mm -hmm. we offer the placement exam every Wednesday and Friday between the hours of 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
you simply come in with the application and indicate that yes I do need to take the placement exam we set you up we assess you we contact you back with your scores and we'll let you know how you'll be um, fit into one of our programs absolutely Dr. Dal Samara thank you so much for being here we're flat out of time unfortunately really appreciated having you both here for part of the conversation I wish you all the best once again I'm Rogan Smith filling in for Jeff Lloyd you've been watching you and your money we'll see you next time